Drought report out today and uh, to no surprise still showing exceptional drought across most of the state. Now today's rainfall will uh, is not included in this report. It will be in next week's report. So we'll see if that helped with our drought situation at, at all. But we really need several widespread heavy rains uh, really to get out of this drought. So uh, it is nice to see the rain. We likely will need more. But our first cold front is pushing through southeast Louisiana. Winds have shifted out of the north. Still a few spotty showers out there across uh, south. Uh, north central Louisiana, but looking at our future cast for tonight, we're still going to keep some clouds around. Still could see a spotty shower or two into early Friday. And as we head into Friday evening, still going to have some clouds as our second front starts to make its way uh, into the area. But we'll be looking at a lot of sunshine here for a good portion of the weekend as that cooler and drier air filters in here. So rain chances after 7 a.m. tomorrow, only about 10%. So most of that rain ended up shifting into today's forecast. So expecting a mostly dry finish to our week here and that'll uh, lead to some of course cooler temperatures heading into the weekend. So low to mid 60s here for tonight. Not going to cool off just yet in those mornings. Our chilly morning arrives on Saturday morning but on fr uh, Friday highs here in the uh, mainly low to mid 80s. Could see an upper 80 here in the metro area so still warm tomorrow but uh, that'll get us uh, prepared for what's ahead here on Saturday which will be the coldest temperatures or coolest temperatures we've seen in months here across central Louisiana. You can really see that dividing line uh, between the moisture here across Louisiana and that drier air behind her next front that is situated here back off to the north and that is what will be headed in here uh, as we head into tomorrow evening. So dew points will crash behind our next cold front and uh, that should be through here late on Friday early on Saturday. We'll actually be looking at rel uh, relative humidity in that 20 to 30 percent range here for the weekend and we're also looking at strong northerly winds. Uh, the winds actually start to pick up tomorrow in that 10 to 15 mile per hour range. Some higher gusts there up to around 20 miles per hour possible for Friday. So for those Friday night football games, uh, temperatures won't be too chilly just yet, but we will have that northerly wind. Uh, so definitely could be uh, maybe light jacket or at least uh, sweatshirt weather here tomorrow evening, potentially as we have uh, that cooler wind uh, arriving. But our red flag warning is in effect for Saturday and that is going to be due to the low relative humidity and those northerly winds. And again, we did have the rain, but uh, that ground's still needs quite a bit more rain for us to get out of that uh, drought situation. So a red flag warning continuing on Saturday. High fire danger and we'll also see a fire weather watch in effect for Sunday. So look at that extended forecast here. Uh, breezy tomorrow. Still warm though as we head into Saturday morning that we'll be waking up with temperatures in the 50s. So that's when you're really going to feel the difference. Our second front will be through by then and we're looking at highs only making it into the 70s on Saturday. And again Saturday we will be looking at the those northerly wind gusts up to about 25 miles per hour. Sunday morning, even cooler, upper 40s, mid and upper 40s here for Sunday morning. Highs again only in the 70s. Winds will relax some on Sunday, uh, so not nearly as windy. And then heading into Monday, we could see one more morning in the upper 40s here in the metro area, but highs will be returning to the mid 80s here on Monday. And then we have still some a few cool mornings next week. Tuesday, Wednesday, a lot of us will still be in the 50s, but highs uh, going back up into the 80s, not seeing any 90s returning next week. We will get a little closer.